Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a technique that I like to call the Stampin' Blends Marbling Technique. This is a really fun technique using, of course, our Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. Um, you need for this technique Stampin' Blends markers, a stamp set. I'm using the Good Filling stamp set from our annual catalog. You need some isopropyl alcohol and a heat tool. And I like to use our vellum cardstock. So I have previously um, embossed our, my saying on here, I'm just so happy for you. So that is embossed on there. And we're going to use our alcohol markers to make a really fun marbling technique on our vellum cardstock. So what I'm gonna do is just take my markers and I'm just gonna color all over this piece of cardstock. So it's gonna look kind of weird, but I'm gonna add some pink. So I'm using um, Melon Mambo, the light Melon Mambo, light, Highland Heather, and Dark Bermuda Bay, again. It's just kind of getting that color on there. It kind of stays within the little areas that you put it into, but once you get the alcohol on there, the colors run a little bit and it kind of does what it wants once you start working with the alcohol. Okay, so what I've done Oh, I didn't mention, but you'll also need a Stampin' Spritzer um, for this project. So I have put my alcohol just straight into my Stampin' Spritzer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spritz alcohol all over my vellum. And while I do that, I'm going to use my heat tool on the low setting and kind of push that al alcohol around. And you'll see as I... As I push the alcohol around, I'll, I might spritz a little bit more and I'll show you kind of some different tips and techniques while I do it. So I like to hold my heat tool in my right hand because I'm right-handed and my spritzer in my left hand because I have a little more control with the heat tool in my right. So I'm just going to get a good generous amount of alcohol on there and you can see those colors are already starting to run and then I'm going to turn my heat tool on the low setting and you can see those colors just starting to run together and as it dries it leaves these kind of lines that make it look marbly. So there's a few different ways to leave this. You can see down here, this you, it looks a little more spritzied. So if you don't like that look, you can just add some more alcohol and then run it again. And get those off. just like that. I'm going to use just a little tissue and just dab up some of this extra ink here, just like that. Super simple. So there you go. Let me bring in the full card that I have made using this technique. Super pretty. It's so striking and it really makes you look like you did a whole lot of work and it's not that difficult. So fun. So let me show you a few other ideas I made using this technique. Here's another one. So I just did six different little strips and I did different colors. I did Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Tahitian Tide, and Highland Heather. And just put them all together, super fun. And then one more, Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way. So on this one, I actually did the, um, the Stampin' Blends on the back of the vellum in kind of a 
ombre look from the orange down to the yellow and that turned out super fun. I like to say that this is the simple version of this technique because it really is pretty easy. You just slap the ink on there and then let it run where it's going to run. But there is another way to do it. Let me show you this card. Hip hip hooray. So you can see in the back here I have kind of these almost little flower looking rosettes in the back on this one. This is a different technique using still the Stampin' Blends but it is a little bit more stepped up. I'm going to do another video in, in the next couple weeks and I'm going to show you this technique also, this stepped up version. So watch out for our part two of that and I'll show you this a little bit more difficult version. So if you didn't think that you needed Stampin' Blends before, I'm pretty sure you're going to need them now because this is such a fun technique and I can't wait to see what you do with it. If you have any questions, make sure to email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com and you can always click on the links in the comments below. Thanks so much and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.